Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and connect your new Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. In this case it is a 4 gigabit board. So first, here we are. We have some passive um, cooling um, heat sinks. And this is for better um, transporting of some heat out of the area of the CPU. This here you can see is a CPU, the Broadcom BCM271180, 1.5 GHz, 64-bit quad-core Cortex processor. The next step is we are going to get a heatsink on top of the, the RAM. Um, this are LPDD4 SD RAM. Uh, in this case, it's four gigabit. That means here is a lot of heat will come out, and for the better for a better transportation of the heat out of the area, you will need some heat things. In the Labitz Raspberry Pi 4 complete starter kit, the heat sinks are included. Of course, there are included um, the case. Here we are, the case. Okay, let's get the case in position. This is the bottom plate of the case. And here we can see the Raspberry Pi 4 matches. Um, awesome. Now we are um, connecting or assembling the middle part of um, this case. The case is um, it's good for protect your uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and it looks nice and cool. And I see there's more slot for heatsink. We are going to get the heatsink protection, the third heatsink protection on the USB controller. Your USB controller will get a little bit um, of hot um, if you're overclocking something and of course if you're connected um, two or three or more USB devices then the USB controller will be hot. So there it is, a heatsink for the USB connector. So we are now protecting with, with each heatsink the CPU processor, the um, RAM, random access memory and the USB controller. Now let's head up to the cover of your case. The cover of your case, uh, you can equip it with a WAN. Um, this WAN will get the air out of the case, the hot air out of the case. And um, it is better to get a, a cool and, um, and not so hot um, area inside each computer and this is a little small Raspberry Pi computer so we will perform here um, a heat um, protection too. This is better for overclocking and of course it is better to, uh, if you are going to use your Raspberry Pi for long time range. So here we are the four screws are matches um, through the edges of the van and here are four nuts for it. These four nuts will um, protect the van or um, attach the van on top of the cover. Easy peasy. You can um, use your hand by using this. It is better because it's so small Ratchet socket. I don't think this is on the market or it's really expensive So we are going to use our hands for it and the little screwdriver P uh, uh, I think it was P O O O or P This is a small um, Phillips screwdriver and um, For this it is to protect the um, Raspberry Pi from the heat death. So here we are four of them in this um, P Raspberry Pi 4 it contains a nice quad-core processor 
you have the extended 40 pin GPIO header, you have wi a dual band Wi Fi, you have DSi display port, micro SD port for operation system and storage, you have a USB C type um, power input, you have two dual micro HDMI ports and one TSI camera port. And of course you have a four pole stereo output and composite video port. Um, that is enough to have some fun with a Raspberry Pi 4 and it um, is included with all what you are going to need for a little fun and little programming. <laughs> And if you have what is included in the box, um, this heat protection things, it is better for all. So here we are. Now, the next step is we have to connect the, um, the van with the, um, with, a, with a 40 pin GPIO header. The GPIO header has so many pins, 40 of them, and we are going to use, if the Raspberry Pi here, this is the first heatsink for RAM, this is the second heatsink for RAM, not this is for RAM, this is the display port HDMI, and the second HDMI, here is the camera port, and this was the lightning jack. Here, uh, here you can see USB-C port, HDMI, HDMI, and the lightning jack for stereo sound and composite video port. On the other side, you have a LAN port and two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 um, plugs and um, hosts. There we are. Let's go to the GPO header. The GPU header has, if you're counting from the left side, the, the upper pin on the left side is pin number one. Then count down, this is number two. Number three is on the upper, opposite side on the right side. That means we are going to use for the WAN the one, two, three port for the red wire and the four, five, six, the six port uh, or pin for the black wire. The black wire is a minus pole and the plus is the wet wire. Here you can see we are docking it, but I will show you again where you have to dock the van. Here we are. You can see this is a little smooth, small connecting thing on the van. And here we are, red and black. And you can see it is port number three. and it is port number uh, five of the GPIO header. This will contain the electric power into your van to get a cool surface inside your Raspberry Pi. So now we are going to dock the upper thing onto the cover on, on the base. But here you can see dock number four or pin number four is the red wire and the um, number six, I think it's number six, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five. Is number uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't know, five, six, seven. Okay, it's number six. It is <laughs> it's a little bit. Uh, tricky, but you can see we docked it right and you will do this at the same you can do this So now we are going to get the cover back in position Yeah, here we are. There is a little or um, a little area between the Medium part and the upper part. This is okay because there the temperature air or the temperature air which are is not so hot will come into the system and the van will get it out so here we are and you have a little um, slice to get some um, wires out and in of course so here we are we are now assembled the raspberry pi with a van and heat sinks and of course with the body it's better like here oh yeah it is supported everything and everything is um, in a good and cool look. 
So let's go. Now we are going to use a 32 gigabit micro SD card preloaded with Noobs. Noobs is the basic operation system for your Raspberry Pi. Here on the right side of the Raspberry Pi, you can see um, the dock for the micro SD card. And let's have a look how we have to enter it. This is not the right direction. You can see it does not shape. The shape does not match here. So we have to rotate it and you can see how we are getting the uh, micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Here we are. Um, jobs done. Operation system is ready. Now we have to get a little bit of um, additional parts on it to control the Raspberry Pi. We have the USB ports. Let's try to use the USB ports for your keyboard and for a mouse. Let's dock it where you are going to like it because all USB uh, ports are uh, able to get the information um, into it. But in this case, you can see you cannot dock two USB ports um, in the in the same area because the USB plugs are so big. But it's not hard to get into another USB port uh, immediately. So here you can see the mouse is connected there and the keyboard is connected there on the USB plugs. Now let's head up to the power supply. It is a 5 volt 3 ampere USB-C type power input with an AC adapter on it and a switch. So here you have to use the included wire for it. And here we are, job's done. Here is no power now because the switch is um, on, um, on off. Now we have to connect the, um, the flat screen to the energy supply. And we have to connect um, an and data wire to it with HDMI wire. The HDMI wire is included in the Raspberry Pi 4 complete starter kit and it is a microsite here on the Raspberry Pi. You are able, you can dock two um, flat screens or um, other uh, um, screens on it with HDMI port and now we head up to the flat screen on the back side for example and we are getting the HDMI wire into it. Here we are HDMI. This is for the communication uh, with the Raspberry Pi 4. So here we are. Everything is docked and now we can switch on the energy. The Raspberry Pi is not no, not on yet. Now we are going to start it by using the switch. Good job. Now you can see the van is having some fun and he is doing the work for you. Here we are. Let's open it to check a little bit. He's running good. Oh yeah. And we can check inside. There are two LEDs. Here we are. And the LEDs are now booting into the noob system. Here we are, get it back in position and let's uh, switch on the screen. And after this, you can see the Raspberry Pi is uh, booting immediately and you can start programming and have a setup. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel soon. Soon soon.